So I'm, I'm going to make a motion to approve the project based upon the following findings. The intended uses are not prohibited by the terms of the bylaw and are permitted thereby. The Planning Board is disappointed that the first municipal building project brought forward after adoption of the updated master plan makes no effort to comply with the master plan, citing the proposed senior center as far away from the proposed library as the lot allows. Because compliance with the updated master plan is not mandatory under current zoning, under the current State Zoning Act, this is not a basis for denying site plan approval, but nevertheless sets a bad example. The Planning Board states on the record that this project is not an example of good design under the master plan. The Town of Hadley has secured an easement for access across the property of Old Hadley, uh, Legion Post. The Fire Chief has proposed the emergency access between the Senior Center site and the Legion project be blocked by a chain between bollards to block through traffic. We do not know what authority the fire chief relies on for making a decision to block through traffic, but assume the select board would have such authority and could decide to block through traffic. We anticipate that any agreement between the town and the Legion for shared use of the senior center parking will establish a system to avoid conflicting uses and to provide for direct access between the parking lots when appropriate. We note that any future use of the old Goodwin Library building for other than library purposes will probably require that the structure be brought into compliance with current building codes, ADA regulations, and parking requirements. To the best of our knowledge, information, and belief, there is no allowance for the future parking needs of the old Goodwin Library building on the site, on this site, um, as the parking needs of the new structures require all available space. We consider that it is a mistake to proceed with the Library Senior Center project in isolation and without consideration of the future needs of the old Goodwin Library site. But the planning responsibility for municipal buildings lies with other boards and is not a basis for denying site plan approval. This is full approval as to the Senior Center only. The library is approved as a pad site at this time and is approved for parking and drainage. The library will require further approval for exterior design, lighting, signage, and plantings. Uh, work conducted in accordance with, uh, this is the final plan set? What's the what you emailed to us. Yes. Uh, that is VHB, and there are a multitude of dates here, but most, well, calling this the latest issue, November 20. Um, it came out of 54 that. Is this the one that he's referring to? Right there, yeah. This, this, this is the one? Yes. yes. Everything is 1120, correct? Does that um, plan say that? Well, a couple of them were. With a couple of exceptions. 90% yeah, of them are in the 1120, uh, except for three. April 25, October 26, and July 16. Correct. Everything. Okay, so this is that. This is that. Um, shingle color to be approved by Planning Board prior to issuance of building permit. Copies. Roof shingle color. Roof shingle color. Uh, proposal satisfies uh, site plan approval criteria. Uh, design features, including but not limited to landscaping, tree caliper, uh, etc., will be considered um, are considered to be an integral part of the approval design. And any deviation from the plans as presented to and approved by the board will be a, considered a violation of the terms of site plan approval unless the changes are approved beforehand. There'll be screening across the northern edge of the site where it involves cultivated land. Arborvitae three to four feet in height at planting along the length of the field. Approval is for the following uses only. Senior center, library conditionally. Landscaping installed, maintained, replaced per the plan. Um, landscaping shall be in place and verified by the planning board or a designated representative prior to the issuance of a permanent occupancy permit. Any outdoor lighting shall be shielded so it does not provide Reduce glare or spillover. No storage trailers, shipping containers, temporary or permanent storage structures, or any other storage facility not depicted on the plans are allowed. 
Approval is subject to approval of other boards, if and as required, including the Conservation Commission, the SOAR Commission, Water Commissioners, and state agencies with authority. Any project changes directed by other boards or agencies must be approved by the Planning Board. One set of plans will be kept on site for the use of the Zoning Enforcement Officer. A project will be reviewed for compliance by an independent consultant on behalf of the Planning Board at the cost and expense of the applicant and the certificate of compliance issued by the consultant will be required before issuance of a permanent certificate of occupancy and this shall not become effective until the decision is um, signed off on by the, the, the final set of plans is signed off on by the uh, planning board the applicant's uh, engineer certifies the conditions set forth here and are noted and incorporated um, and it is subject to appeal under the provisions of chapter 40A, section 11. That is the motion. Do you have a second? Motion and a second before we vote. Is there a, where do I have the color rendering that we had of that? I can get you. Uh, and, and, you. The, and the, I know we mailed you. Yeah. Yeah. So we'd like to get a color, like get the color rendering of the, of the building. And where is that building? You want most, most you about that? Yes. You want this? Yes. Yeah. You, can, you can get that. Yeah. Is that what that building's going to look like? Yeah. Yes. That's what we'd like. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah. Okay. That's right. Okay. That's not part of this packet. It is not. No. Is there any rendering part of the packet? No. Okay. I will add that a colored rendering is to be supplied. How come we don't have renderings for our final? They don't really supply rendering to the final. A lot of, some do supply the, the, a black and white rendering of the building, but the colored rendering is like above and beyond. Why would they supply it? But they do have that. We just wasn't part of the packet. Okay, that is the motion and the second. Um, I don't disagree with 99% of what you put in there, Bill, so I will not recommend or say anything about a change. Any other comments? Yeah, I'd like to make one comment. Final. I'm going to vote for this tonight, but I'm really pissed off that this guy, that guy, and the architect for ripping this town off and taking away money that could be used in this project and all our other projects. Totally uncalled for. The selectmen sat there and let all this happen and didn't do nothing about it. And that's why we got such a mess today. I hope the next project don't end like this. Comply with the law. They never came in once to verify what does this park and mean. The way none of these meetings. We go walking people that come in to, always tonight to verify things, what they can do. These big shots didn't come in here. They get paid too much money for that. They don't want to mess around. And then they wonder, well, they're going to jack up their fees. That's exactly what they did. I'll tell you, in a corporate world, this guy, that guy, and that guy would be fired. And I don't mean maybe. I've been in a corporate world all my life, I worked on big projects. I have never seen a blunder in my life as these three people allowed to happen. So get on with the vote. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously.